Hello, my name is Elizabeth Bauman, and this is my poster for Grade 12 World History Module 6. This poster is an example of the expansion of the British Empire, as it is a recruitment poster for the Royal African Company. The Royal African Company was a British trade company, founded in 1660 under the name of the Company of Royal Adventurers Trading to Africa. It controlled all English trade in West Africa, including a monopoly on slaves and all other goods. King Charles II of England gave control of the company to his younger brother, who later became King James II. So whoever was the current monarch at that time received half of the proceedings of the company. In 1672, after a period of five years of debt caused by numerous wars in Africa and the British Netherland War, the company received a new charter from the king and changed their name to the Royal African Company. The main thing the company traded in was slaves. The Spanish, Portuguese, and French also had slave ports in Africa, but the British transported staggering numbers. Quote, between 1672 and 1689, the company transported 90,000 to 100,000 slaves. End quote. Between 1689 and 1698, the company slowly lost their monopoly on British trade in Africa. After 1698, other British companies could legally conduct trade in Africa, though the Royal African Company still commanded a tax on all traded goods. Now that other British merchants and traders were doing trade in Africa, the Royal African Company could focus less on trading slaves and more on trading other goods. In 1731, they were almost entirely concentrated on the trade of ivory and gold. The Royal African Company was dissolved in 1750, but its main functions and merchants and alliances were transferred to the African Company of Merchants. The background picture on the poster shows a classic balance scale with gold dust in it. In 1743, gold dust was the main item traded for by the Royal African Company. The picture on the bottom left side is of the Royal African Company's coat of arms. The two figures in the picture are Africans and an elephant is represented between them. The picture on the bottom right side of the poster is a gold guinea, stamped 1686. On one side it shows King James II's head, since he was the leader of the company, and the other side shows the company's symbol, which includes an elephant and a castle. My poster was printed in 1743, during a time when the company was looking for more people to join it, since the trade was declining and it no longer held the monopoly on Africa. The poster is designed to entice young British men to join the Royal African Company. At this point in time, the British movement against slavery would have been in its very infant stages, but still, awareness was growing. It wasn't until 1780s, 40 years later, that there was serious campaigning in England to abolish the slave trade. At this time, though, a perk to being part of the Royal African Company was that they did not directly participate much in the slave trade. Riches would have been the main appeal for joining the Royal African Company, as trade in gold and ivory led to a lot of money. As part of the company, there would be opportunities to rise in status and rank, which would be another reason for joining. Finally, experiencing new exotic lands and the peoples of Africa would have been exciting and interesting, especially for restless young men.